everyone. We are working towards unifying all of our communications across all the campuses and all of the departments. And one way that we can do that is through making sure that our signatures are consistent across all the platforms that we use for communication. One platform that is updated for you on a regular basis is Google and your Gmail account. What you can see here is a copy of my signature that has been created by the technology department. This is auto updated based on information from human resources. If your signature is not of this format and maybe an older format, please submit a ticket to support at foundationacademy.net or in the left hand of your bookmarks, there is an FA help desk link that you can use to submit a ticket to have your signature updated. We would like for these to be uniform across the school to create some consistency and expectation and communications. And while our Google is often updated, our RINWeb communication is not. A lot of times in RINWeb, because signatures haven't been created, people are typing their name. And there's nothing wrong with that. There hasn't been a way to do something other than that until now. And today I'm going to show you how to create that signature inside of your RINWeb communication. So you're going to start by logging into RINWeb. If it asks you to refresh, please do. Once it has done that, you are going to go into the communication section of RINWeb by selecting the hamburger on the left-hand side and scrolling down until you see communications. Now your field will look different than mine. You may have different choices than I do, but you should all have a communications option. When you open communications, you are going to most likely see a blank screen, whereas in mine, you'll see that I already have a signature in place here. I'm going to show you how to create that. On your blank email message, I will start as if yours is here, you are going to go to the template pull down in the center of the screen right here templates you're going to select that and you're going to scroll all the way down until you get to the s's if you go all the way to the bottom just a little bit higher you will see three options for signature templates lakeside plant street campus and tilden please choose the signature template based on your home campus my home campus is tilden so i would choose that it is important to choose your home campus because this is the address that will appear in the template. So I'm going to choose Tilden and now you're going to edit two fields of your template. You're going to edit your name and your job title. It is very important to look at your Gmail signature to establish your job title. So I'm going to go back to my Gmail signature. It says here educational technologist. Again, this is updated through human resource records. So it's very important that we maintain the title that's been given to us. So back in communications, I'm going to edit these two fields. For formatting purposes, I recommend not deleting the entire area. I recommend deleting most of the area, typing your name, and then deleting what's left. My, that will maintain the integrity of the formatting for you there. Underneath that for job title, again, same thing. I'll show you quickly, if you delete the whole thing and then begin typing, you'll see that the font is different. So again, to maintain that, we're only going to delete part of it. We're going to type in our title, checking spelling, deleting what's left. And that's your signature. Your signature has been created. Now we want to input it into your profile. So you're going to right click and you are going to select all and then you are going to copy. So you can right click. If you have a Mac, you can Command C. If you have a Chromebook, you should be able to Control C. However you copy text, you're going to press copy. Now you have two options for this part. You can simply go up to your initials to move on to the next part. Or if you want to go back to another RINWeb page, so that way you don't lose this shell that you've created, you can do that too. So that's what I'm going to do. When you open communications in RENWeb, it should open a new tab. So you should be able to go back to home. And now we're going to click our initials. Once you've opened your initials, you're gonna click user preferences. And this will take you to all of your profile information. On the left-hand side, click communications. And here's where we're gonna set up your signature. Now, on my screen, you'll see that I already have one. So let me delete that out. So yours is gonna look like this most likely. You want to click 
in the signature field. Then you want to right click or however you paste on your computer and it should paste the signature that you've created. The only other thing that I would ask you to do before you save is to add a space above your signature. So you want to click to the left of that signature. Finding the left can be a little trickly, tricky because I've given you a table option there. So if you want to scroll over, you're going to notice that it won't scroll past your, there you go. You want to get this big bar here. So clicking on the side of your name and then moving your arrow over until you get to the very end of the page and then click enter once. And that will ensure that every time you start an email, you have a field to type at the top and not have to enter down your signature. Once you have done that, then you are going to click save. And if you teach in only one of our campuses, then you are done. But if you work in RenWeb in several different schools, Plant, Lakeside, even Fable, you're gonna need to do this for every campus that you work in if you send communications from multiple areas. So make sure again you press save, always include your signatures there, and then you're gonna go to another campus. So if this is you, you're gonna click on the next campus, click on communications, and then do the same thing. If you have any questions, I'm here to help, just let me know. Thank you very much.